Yes, I've been shopping again and yes, I've got more art supplies because I need more and 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 more. That's what I do. So here is my new addition to my art supplies. This is a 30 pack of acrylic paint pens by Thule Art. Now these cost me about $40, so much cheaper than Posca pens. I think if I was to probably buy this in Posca pens, it would probably cost me $200 or more. So I opted to buy these bad boys. So these Thule Art acrylic paint pens come in all these colors, but obviously I'm not gonna go buy this guide. I am going to go buy my own swatches and swatch these bad boys and see exactly what they look like. We'll open these up. Now this is a pack that speaks to me and I'm going to tell you why because it says it's 30 markers but it's actually 28 colors plus two extras as as you can see the pack actually comes with two extra white and black. This is awesome because I use a lot of black White, probably not so much, depending on, you know, how wide the nibs are. I got them in a medium size, a medium tip. I could have opted for a uh, fine tip, but I thought, I'll oh, bugger it. I'll just go with these first. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really good. Like, I've always said I reckon watercolor palettes should always have an extra black. Here. Oh Jesus, that wasn't very great and smart. It comes with a little booklet. Uh, so if you're uh, like unhappy, there's some information so you can send them an email. I wouldn't do that. I'm, I'm a nice girl. And it shows you how you can draw them, draw, use them to draw on rocks and all their social medias and all the other different ones that you can get. And these were the ones here that I was going to get, which was the extra fine tip ones, but I decided to get the medium ones, as I said before. So uh, there's the other side, which is if you're happy or if you're unhappy, and, oh, well, this is cool. It also comes with uh, three extra nibs for them. So that's obviously going to be the size of the nibs. There are like other paint pens. You've got to shake them. You've got to prime them, pump them down, and, yeah, do it that way. So I'm going to have to take the plastic off 30 pens. Oh, this is... This is not going to be fun. <laughs> ah! So they are a water-based pen, non-toxic and opaque. Basically like a Posca pen. Now let me say that this video is not going to be comparing these two Posca pens or anything like that because I have never really worked with Posca pens. I've only ever had this little guy here. Um, he is my uh, liner, like my highlighter, like for putting white um, highlights into pieces. This is the only experience I've had, so I have never, ever, ever used Posca pens. So this is no means a comparison video. This is just me, you know, going to be using paint pens for the first time and just judging these on their own. Now, one thing I have noticed is. You've got the names on the back here, which tells you what they are. But what I have noticed is the names are not on the pens themselves at all. So why is this one here 
Is this one here the light cream or is or is this one the light cream? Like, do like this is where it's probably gonna maybe get a little bit confusing. Even I'm hoping that like it is going to be a bit more, you know, dominant, like the swatches are on the back. With these two, I'm hoping it's going to be, you know, hopefully I'm going to work out what colors or what, but yeah, I would have really thought that the name would have been on the pens, but no, not at all. With these pens too, they've got this little um, groove here, and that is basically to, I presume, stop it from rolling off a desk. So if you push them hard enough, it doesn't, that doesn't stop it at all. So that's my observation so far um, with the aesthetic side of, you know, of the physical object. So I'm going to try and sort these pens to the back here um, and, and then swatch them exactly like this because it looks like they are in their, you know, their color groups. So I'll keep to that. I really wanted to test these pens out on white and black paper just to see the different kinds of values that you get from the different kinds of paper and you really do like it's as I mentioned after these swatches and everything it really is uh, just the totally two different it's like it's two different sort of color sets and it's, it's quite interesting how that kind of works but they are very opaque and I'm quite happy about how opaque they are. And if you want them more opaque, you just wait for them to dry and you just go back over them like I did with a couple of them just to test to see how they would go. Pumping these pens uh, for the ink was just so easy. I was expecting to be there for ages uh, pumping each pen, but the ink actually came down, uh, well, the paint actually came down quite easily, which I was very happy about, but I must admit, this took me nearly an hour to do, and my wrist was killing me <laughs> after I'd done this. So, yeah, it, it's, uh, it definitely hurts the wrist pumping all these uh, pens. So I've done the swatches and it's amazing how the colors can look so different on the different colored papers. And it's pretty pretty amazing how, how that can happen, really. Like they look so much more opaque on the white than they do on the black. But what I noticed is you can go over. Um, there was, which one did I do it on? I think I did it on this one where you can go over, oh, it was on this one. You can go over the top and you can um, you can make it even more opaque once it's dried. But I did notice that uh, this is this is watercolor paper. But what it did was it started to sort of tear the paper up a fair bit, as you can see there. It's a little bit of peeling happening. So I noticed it with the watercolor paper. Now this one's like a mixed media black paper, and there was no peeling whatsoever. So I think that might be the key to using these paint pens maybe, possibly. So far I am really, really liking the colors. There's a really cool color range there from your, your warms and your cool grays and like these different purples and some different blues and uh, yeah, no, they're, they're, they're quite nice. I am really quite happy with how they are so far. That right there is the color of this pen, but obviously the lid doesn't, you know, reflect that color. Just like everything, it is, it's different. But what I did notice um, is when you flip the packaging over here, we compare them like to the black ones. Um, I do believe that it's this um, this key here 
isn't a bad match for this one here, I don't think. So I thought that was pretty cool how this, this is quite accurate, which is extremely unheard of. It's uh, something that doesn't really uh, happen, <laughs> but they've done quite well to match this to the actual uh, swatches that you do yourself. But yeah, a lot of the lids, a lot of the lids don't match, don't match the actual color in it. So now it's just a matter of coming up with an illustration to apply these with, apply these in, I should say. Um, but what I'm going to do is, I feel as though my art is not something that I would use these completely to do a complete piece. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to mix these acrylic paint pens with watercolor. So I bought another sketchbook. I bought this, uh, iron lac sketchbook because I seriously have a problem at the moment buying sketchbooks. So it came with these really cool stickers. It came with the sticker. This one's from, um, uh, a horror pack that I got, but this one here came with it. Like it's a pretty cool sketchbook. Um, there's the imprint there. Um, it's got this elastic part here, so you unhook it, and it's got because <laughs> it's Australia, like it's Australian. Um, it's got the g'day my name is, I haven't put anything there, but it also has this little pocket at the back, which I've got all the stickers that came with it, which was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I've just put all the stickers in there for the time being, but it says that this book is really good for like sketchbooking and um, using paint pens on. So I'm going to use the paint pens on, well, in this book and see how we go. But it's not good for watercolor. So, well, it doesn't say that, but I only assume that it won't be very, very good anyway. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try um, a little bit of watercolor in this um, book just to see how it takes it, but most of the picture is going to be with these uh, paint pens. So what I did was I pre-drew, I pre-drew um, a sort of uh, cyberpunk piece here. So this is like a half monster, half, um, you know, cyborg type thing that has been uh, cut off at the head. And yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this thing. I'm going to use watercolor in here for this is the monster part. And then the rest, I'm going to um, use the paint pen. So we'll see how this, we'll see how this turns out because I have never done this before. I did do a test in one of my other sketchbooks to see how I could use these markers and I'm going to be using these markers in a flat sort of way. Like it's not going to be um, like a shaded way. It's going to be a very flat sort of um, color. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm very, very excited to sort of give this a go and see how it, how it turns out. So yeah, let's, let's see what happens when we mix watercolor and paint pens in this book that is only designed for markers and paint markers and sketching. So this sketchbook was a little bit of an impulse buy. I just grabbed it off the shelf at a local art shop. It cost me about $30 and uh, I decided to see if it will take the paint pens as good as it reckons it does. I know for a fact that it does not take watercolor very well. So I definitely won't be doing watercolor pieces in this sketchbook. It is, yeah, definitely not designed for that. You can definitely feel the difference. Definitely did not layer watercolor very well at all. So 
yeah, <laughs> never again, never, ever, ever again. This book is just going to be purely for markers and paint pen illustrations and just lead sketches and and uh, just, yeah, fine liners. That's it. That's all I can do. But hey, I had to test it. I had to make sure that it didn't do what I wanted it to do and it really doesn't like just it's sometimes I can just do it and just force something to <laughs> to uh, uh, take a certain art supply but this one nah definitely not so like I said in the beginning of this video, I can't compare these to any other paint pens because I have never had any other paint pens. These are my first set, but hey, I'm super impressed. Like I really, really like these pens. And what I really like about them too is you don't have to pump them very much to get the ink out. You can just keep using it and the ink will just keep flowing out. Very, it's very, very seldom that you have to pump it to get more paint out. It's really good. You can shake them with the lid off. It doesn't spray anywhere. They're just, I, I really, really am happy with these pens. I don't know how they compare with Posca's uh, but I don't really care. I'm not gonna go out and fork out all that huge amount of money for paint pens when I can, I feel as though after reading reviews and watching videos that these are just as good and they do the exact same thing as Posca's. Posca's still tear up paper and uh, on, certain, on certain papers. What I did notice with these pens on this iron lac paper sketchbook is that it really it kind of did tear up some of the paper but it actually wasn't too bad it actually took the paint pens quite well definitely better than watercolor paper hands down but that's watercolor paper watercolor paper obviously it's just the the acrylic pens and the nibs are just a bit too harsh for it so I won't be doing that again and that's why I bought this book. So I went with this cyborg, um, yeah it's sort of like a cyberpunk type thing. It's not my favourite illustration, I just wanted to mainly test these and get a feel for them. Like I said I already did test these and did an illustration in one of my other books which turned out really really good, it was just a very flat piece and there was no shading, there's no dimension, and it was good to just do something completely different uh, for this video. And yeah, I'll definitely be doing and adding some more of these paint pens to future pictures. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a medium that I'm going to have to practice more with, and yeah, but overall, I am quite happy with these pens, and I can't wait to use them again. And I'm out of here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.